Hello and welcome to the Admin Bar, the community and podcast connecting with people with the products, lessons, and strategies to help push their business forward. My name is Kyle Van Dusen from Ogle Web Design just outside of Fort Worth, Texas. And with me today, as always, is my good buddy and co-host, Matt Siebert. How's it going today, Matt? It's going pretty well. It's, uh, I woke up to snow on the ground. It's actually sticking, so it's, it's a little bit early for, uh, for snow, but I like it. It means that uh, hopefully snowboard season starts a little bit sooner than it normally would, and that would give me something to do during all of this that's happening. That's true. What about you, man? What's, what's new? It's cold here, but it's not snowy. We, I don't think we've gotten snow here in like three or four years. Yeah, you'd mentioned that you want, uh, your kids have been wanting it. Yeah, they'll want it until we have it, and then they'll be like, this sucks, it's way too cold. <laughs> too cold. No doubt. All right, well, before we jump into it today, I do want to uh, remind everyone who is listening to this on the podcast, uh, we have a Facebook group with about 3,000 members that's a whole lot of fun. So if you're not a part of that, we'd love to have you come join us. You can go to theadminbar.com forward slash group. Uh, and join just make sure you fill in all the little questions we do uh, we are pretty picky about what people fill in there so if you fill it out like a normal human being we'll let you in and if you write something like a jackass we'll probably say no Mm -hmm. Um, and also we have two more happy hours left in uh, in 2020 so the next one is going to be next Thursday November 12th Uh, I believe it's at 11 a.m eastern Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you have joined us for happy hour before and enjoyed it, we'd love to have you back. If you have not yet, you have two more left in this year, uh, to come hang out with all your friends in the admin bar. So you can go to the admin forward slash happy hyphen hour, uh, and sign up for our VIP list. It's free to join. And then that way you'll get the link, uh, to join the live zoom call and you'll be able to hang out with us and, uh, and get the replay link as well. So I think that's all the housekeeping stuff I had to get out of the way today. Yeah, that sounds about sounds about right. All right. So uh, first up, Matt has got a topic to bring to the table today. We're going to start off with him. We'll finish up with me and we'll uh, we'll get on to uh, election day uh, today. For those listening, I feel like there's going to be somebody listening to this podcast in the future. Like, I don't know, four years from now. Uh, today is election day in 2020. Uh, the year of COVID. So it's like a crazy, crazy day today, uh, at least here in the States. So if that will, a future person four years from now, that'll kind of put, give you a frame of reference of what today is like. Yeah. Dating Uh, the episode. It's, it's, yeah, I know, but it's just a weird day, man. I woke up feeling like it's a weird day. Yeah. No, I I feel you. So let's, uh, let's get off of that. I shouldn't even brought it up. So, uh, Matt, what you got today? Yeah, so um, Kyle, you know, I think uh, a good amount of what I'm going to be talking about, except for the thing that spurred all of this. Which, so I was uh, I was moseying around the uh, the Facebook group a little bit yesterday, and I saw a comment that I see fairly often, fairly frequently. So I kind of wanted to touch on it, and it branches into to what's going on in, in my agency a little bit. As I know well. exactly what you're gonna. I didn't know, but I know exactly what you're gonna bring up now. Awesome, cool. So yeah, um, I don't, I don't want to say too too much about the uh, the project that I'm currently working on, just for uh, like privacy's sake. But the overall is basically I've got this client who I've had for I want to say going on three years. The, uh, the like the the client uh, agency relationship between the two of us is great. Um, we, uh, we communicate fairly frequently. They're not like super pushy. I, I, I love these guys. They're on a care plan that I definitely want to hold on to. Um, and when I, when I was first brought into this particular place, um, I had worked with one of their sister companies and I redeveloped their website. I did a bunch of marketing. Um, I actually did a bit of rebranding as well. Um, so when I was brought into, you know, this new one, <clears throat> again, like, you know, I was tasked to rebuild a website and, and, uh, take a look at their current marketing and like their strategies and all of that. Um, so the, the website was built and it just kind of sat for a while. I think built, that's, but um, not published, right. What's that built, but not published. Yes. Built, but not published. Um, there was a, a, a good amount of time there that, uh, of course, waiting for copy that issue that everybody seems to have. Um, we need a, we need a, a WOM for copy collection, Yes, we but, do. um, 
but yeah, so it's it's just kind of sat. They were, I think they're kind of nervous about like pushing this new one live. That uh, the whole like the old ones worked. Like what what happens when it changes? I've done you know a lot of client education on this uh, with them, but they they're still like a little bit hesitant. So it just kind of sat, and that's that's fine. Um, I'm currently managing their their live site. Um, but it's a pain because it's old, it's broken, it's, uh, it, it needs to be updated. But at this point, I, uh, I've done it on a couple of test servers. I don't think that it can be updated because of what they've got in place. It just breaks. So the best course of action, of course, uh, would be to, uh, to launch the new site. However, uh, yesterday we, we noticed, or I got an email saying, Hey, the site's down. Um, the company that they were working with previously, uh, they ended up taking the site down due to non-payment. There was a, a crossed wire. Basically, invoices were being sent to an email that uh, to a staffer that didn't actually work there anymore. So that was that was an issue. But it brought to light um, having a, a company or a, a client and having their hosting elsewhere, like something that they're not in control of, and something where like the the lead of this project um or the website in general had he's moved on so he's he's somewhere else he's not with that business anymore so nobody nobody there really has any like you know lead as far as like where our website is where our domain registrar is like all of that stuff so everybody over that side was panicking and i totally get that um we fixed it everything's up and running but again, like that kind of brings into the question of, you know, who should be hosting? Um, how should that be, be like managed? And, um, the, the comment or the, the post that I saw yesterday in the group was somebody asking, um, the other side of that is, should I be purchasing the, uh, the URLs for clients? Um, which me, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea, especially URLs. Um, I would, I would always tell clients like purchase this on your own. Um, and this is it, it allows you more control. Um, you don't have to try to get in contact with another agency. And if you have a falling out, like who owns that, like, yeah, they paid for it on your behalf, but it just, it gets really muddied, really confusing and potentially incredibly frustrating for the, uh, the client as well as the, uh, the new agency that's coming on if they're, you know, in a, a transitional phase. But what do you think? Like what, uh, do you ever buy URLs for clients? I would say I saw that post too, and I almost commented on this morning, but, uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would say generally as a rule of thumb, I think it's a bad idea to purchase the domain for somebody else really. Cause it's just, it's the top level of the hierarchy, right? Mm -hmm. So if you get locked out of hosting, well, you can get in this domain and change hosting and move the website. I mean, I feel like th that's ultimately where the buck stops. Right. So, um, I, but on the other hand, I have tons of clients that just like, they, they don't want to be bothered with it. They don't want to do it. They don't understand why it's important. I've tried to explain it and I've bought the domains for them. Um, but I would generally not recommend somebody go do that. So I guess do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. Um, and I mean, you know yourself too, you know, that you wouldn't disappear on a client that if something tragic were to happen, you have contingencies set up so that that stuff goes to the right people. Um, so I think like, you know, if you ever do purchase a, a URL on behalf of a client, like really have that set up, like what happens if, uh, situations and definitely, definitely remember to, to, put all of that in writing in some sort of a contract with them as well. Yeah. And, and obviously the WOM's handy here too, right? Cause you're giving them all the details. Had, had this client got a WOM from their old, uh, developer, this whole thing would have been a whole lot easier cause you would have known where it was hosted and who has control of the domain and all those kinds of things. Exactly. Now, as far as hosting, uh, I mean, I want to sell hosting as a service to my clients. So mm -hmm. I definitely do recommend they, they host with me. Uh, so I feel differently about that one than I do the domains. Now, if, if a client wants to host on their own, that's fine. Uh, I am usually a little picky with them if they sign up for a care plan, but don't sign up for my hosting because 
uh, depending on what they're signing up for. Uh, it's, you know, basically what I explained to them is it's, it's hard. You're going to, you're going to turn to me if there's hosting issues, because I, you're paying me for a care plan, but I might not know anything about this host or what their setup's like. So it's hard for me to be able to service that, uh, so properly. Like Whereas level. if you're on, yeah, if you're on my hosting, then I know exactly how everything works and I'll get it all taken care of and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Does that, um, do you have like, do you have rules or anything as far as, uh, people that are on a care plan with you? Um, like if they're on a care plan, like, or if, or if you're going to host a website, like, do they also have to be on a care plan or you just offer hosting? No, I'm not. I, I have a couple of like legacy clients that I'm still just hosting their website when basically I would, uh, I would take anything that was paying money, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I took on some, you know, well, okay, you don't want to pay for a care plan, then I'll just host your website for you. So uh, I have, I don't know, two or three of those left over, but I don't do that anymore. Cause it's, I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of the same problem in reverse to what we just said. Okay. Well, if I'm not taking care of their website and their websites on my hosting account, you know, I can't be sure everything on that website's clean and running well and not going to affect my hosting and all that. So, right. Like uh, if you're hosting something, are, like you should be going in and maintaining it just to, to keep everything up and date and, you know, everything's safe. Right. So, yeah. So I, I wouldn't take any of those on anymore, just hosting anymore. Same. Well, that, that sounds was like a, you got a fairly quick conversation, I think. But, you know, I, I, I do think that people do ask about, especially the, the purchasing URLs, uh, frequently enough that it warranted a, a quick little combo about it. Yeah, no, I think, I mean, I think it's something to think about. And like, like I said, you know, I, I have purchased domains for clients, even though I don't think it's a great idea. I, I, I haven't, I've only used Google domains, um, with a client that came to me with a domain, but he was able to just share access with my Google account. Right. Uh, I need to look at that more. So if people have good information on that, that seems like the way to go. And I don't know why more like domain registrars don't do that. Give you really easy access to share. I know with GoDaddy, there's some options to be able to uh, give somebody else access to all that, but that seems like it should be more baked into the process. It just really does. Domain, domain registrars have to realize you know, that a lot of people buy that, that own websites aren't the ones taking care of everything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it seems like there should be a more like streamlined. This is just how it's done. This is the default. You know, you can give sharing options to people. Yeah. And now it seems like things like are, are starting to pivot in the other, uh, direction, like in a bad way. Um, I've noticed that with one of my, uh, my email marketing, uh, like type accounts with one of my clients, they've forced everything into two factor auth uh, authentication and there's only the one uh, login and they don't allow for uh, like, you know, shared access or anything. So I either have to create a, a new account within their account um, right. or they need to answer a text every time I go to log in and, and do stuff. And that's uh, that's a, a bit of a pain as well. Yeah. My, my system is to, uh, text the client or to call the client and say, Hey, I'm, I'm going to have to send you this thing's going to have to send you a text and you're going to have to give it right back to me, you know? So, or I'll text them and tell them that and like, call me when you're sitting at a computer and we can do it in real time. It's such a pain in the ass. It really is. Especially when it's just something that you need to like hop in there real quick, do something, make a change, upload, like whatever, like five minutes, like, or a, you know, three to five minute job turns into a 15, half an hour job just because you have to wait it's uh yeah it's frustrating i have gone through though and turn two factor on like every account i can turn it on i mean if it's an option i've turned it on oh for sure uh, yeah it's a pain in the ass but i think it's probably worth it cool so what do you have today so i i am uh i i resist um getting into the Christmas spirit until Thanksgiving's over because I'm a big fan of Thanksgiving here. Okay. Uh, but I do have to start planning ahead uh, for logistical purposes for doing something for my customers this year mm -hmm. uh, around the holidays. Um, so I had a, I had a good month last month and set, set about a thousand dollars aside to use towards uh, gifts for clients. Um, and I'm still kind of stuck on exactly what to do. So my first thing I did was I downloaded a spreadsheet of everybody I've invoiced this year, right? So okay. all my care plan customers, everybody I've done a project for, you know, uh, and then I kind of, 
I kind of categorized all of them by, you know, I guess kind of like the class they're in, right? So if they're yeah. spending a ton of money with me, they're probably in a higher class than somebody that like bought a set of business cards and I haven't heard from them since February, you know? Uh, so I tried to like organize that all out and then, you know, break down how much I could afford to spend like per, per customer or per class, you know, based on how many of those things I have. Um, but it's definitely something I would like to start a thread about in the group and see what people do because I could do something yeah. generic and easy. Amazon makes things so easy to ship to people. So I kind of feel like buying stuff off Amazon is going to be just really the easiest route for me, but it's not going to be very personal. You know, right. it's going to be like some kind of gift basket of some sort. Um, I'd kind of like to do something more personal. So one thing I've done is for all the people like in, <clears throat> I don't really like to phrase it that way because some of the people listening to this might get it. Uh, but all the people who have, are like, uh, I partner with through things with the admin bar of help me promote things or, but not necessarily customers spending tens of thousand dollars a year with me. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm working on creating like a, customized i designed it myself uh greeting card right okay so it's going to be something uh unique not just off of a store shelf and it'd be apparent that it's unique when they get it so i think that's kind of a cool idea and it's it's fairly inexpensive but at least they'll know i went to a little bit of trouble uh to do that but when i started creating this list i mean i had like i don't know sh just shy of a hundred names on it so i'm like man that's a lot of a lot of things to buy yeah know? that's a that is a lot um what have you done in the past i've not been very uh consistent about it so i've sent uh books in the past which i think is decent but you know not some everybody's of them are probably just gonna or... sit on a shelf and never get read um but that takes a little bit of thinking like what would be good for this client you know um i did one year i did a thing i found some something some website online where you could send somebody basically a credit to go make a donation to a nonprofit of their choice right so instead of like i don't know it just felt like we all have so much crap and stuff do you really need more things to sit on your desk you know right. and at the price point i'm probably going to spend on them it's going to be either something to eat and you don't know what people's diets are like and things like that. So that's hard or just some knickknack thing to, to sit on their desk. So I did, I, I came up with an amount and sent it through the system and the, they basically get an email that says, you know, Kyle gave you $20 or whatever, pick a charity to donate it to. And then they get to go in there and pick whatever charity they'd like to donate to, which I thought was kind of a, a neat idea. That yeah. way they can at least take that money and support what they feel good about instead of, you know, me telling them I donated to Planned Parenthood for them. Um, but I had three, maybe four that just never went in and spent the money. So it's just sitting there. Oh, that's kind of uh, frustrating. And, yeah. So that seems kind of like a waste of time. And, and maybe it's a little like, I don't know, it feels a little arrogant to me now to say like, I'm going to give you a gift, but it's not for you. You have to give it to somebody else. Like I want you to be more giving. That seems kind of like an ass. Right. Um, right. Well, I can tell you that, um, for me, one of the, uh, the best Christmas gifts for clients, um, or at least one that like went over the best was, um, doing like custom uh sweatshirts for uh each one of my like top tier clients and again i, I don't like saying that either but yeah i think everybody kind of knows what we're talking about like sure yeah i don't i don't like ranking clients like that but um so yeah i got several uh several like just custom like nice sweatshirts with uh each one of them had their own uh logo or their own like you know something to do with their business so they were like there's only this one sweatshirt that was made um and those went over really well um like a lot of my my clients that work outside during this time of year like i mean they they loved it they kept getting uh or kept emailing me saying like hey i keep getting like comments on this etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's like you know, that one, that one definitely went over well. Um, 
but yeah, it's a lot of work on like the okay well now we need to get the right files and put you know what size to send like like apparel stuff's hard kind of like food's hard because of you don't know what people can have and what they can't have that's why i went um, with sweatshirts because like a looser fitting sweatshirt i can kind of like judge above what they're, they're they might need and um it's and still then offend like, them when you send them a double xl and they're like excuse me sir well, I wouldn't overestimate that much, I don't think. Um, but like, you Send know, you everybody know, a small. Yeah, you know, like somebody's a medium versus a, a large sweatshirt. Um, and if they if it fits a little bit baggy, it's just that time of year anyway. So true. So yeah, I'd be interested to hear what people do for holiday gifts. I figured I had a had a pretty decent year this year, and it's been a tough year for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, so I definitely should make the conscious effort to spend some time on this and try to uh, try to give them something nice. I'm just I don't know. I have a weird thing about just sending them something generic. I want to do something better than generic. Yeah, because you know, like I mean at least a couple of your clients are going to get gifts from other people as well, like, you know, in their industry or, or whatnot. And it would be nice that when yours shows up, they open it up and they're like, oh, wow, this is really thoughtful. Right. Not that you know gift giving is a competition or anything. I'll, I'll go. I've shared these things a, a million times, but uh, when I went on James Rose's podcast and he made these uh, coasters. Those are so cool. They're so awesome. They're they really laser are. engraved wooden coasters. Maybe I should look at something like this because that's a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat gift. Something that sits on my desk all the time. And you don't have uh, to worry about the size. I don't have to order a size. Everybody drinks something, right? So it should should be non offensive. Uh, <laughs> but we'd have to go back to getting everybody's logo and things like that. Obviously, I, I have seen people give like things with their own logo. Like I would give somebody something with Ogle on it, but. I don't know. I, I really, yeah, I would rather give somebody with their own logo. Yeah. I don't think they really care about my logo at all. Mm -mm. No. Okay. So, yep. That's what I got today. I'm trying to plan that out. It's uh, it's November now. So it's time to start thinking about those things. If you're going to make, uh, make some purchases, think about spending some time planning all that out. You're gonna have to account for shipping and all those kinds of things. And crazy times in 2020 yeah definitely uh definitely make a post about that I'm, I'm really curious to see what other people have uh in mind because i'm also looking for interesting things like new new ideas in this uh regard yeah we have we have a few uh comments going here in the uh this is live on facebook so we have a few comments going um matt davies said a nice custom mug and delicious coffee um Nikolai left a link to uh, corporategift.com that allows you to share. Oh man, now the the uh, comment yeah, just shipping. disappeared. Uh, <laughs> but it allows you, I guess, to to ship those wherever you need to. Uh, for some reason, the comments are acting funny on this. They are. Um, I can only see the uh, the four most recent comments. Yeah, that's what it was doing to me too. Um, Joel said he did branded mugs one year. We could do all that through Printful, pretty easy. And that's it's true. Fairly, uh, inexpensive. I do have a custom, I made, made one of my customers, he made a funny comment. So I, I designed a little mug with the comment he made on it, That's and incredible. it to him, but it was going to Canada. Uh, and I don't think it ever made it there. Like it got stuck at the border somewhere. Oh, uh, and I don't think it ever made it. But yeah, so yeah, if anybody has any suggestions, uh, I'm open to ideas, but I'm going to, I got to make a decision here pretty quick. Right. Right. All right. Yeah. Well, is there anything else we need to cover before we get out of here today? I don't think so. Super confident. Yeah, I'm racking my brain and I can't think of anything that, uh, that needs saying that wasn't said at the, uh, the top. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, if you haven't joined us inside the admin bar, you can go to the admin bar.com forward slash group and come hang out with us. If this group or show helps you in any way, the best way to help us is to like and subscribe to our channel, share the content and use our affiliate links. It's all free. It takes a little time and it greatly helps support the show. And a shout out and thanks to everyone who joined us here uh, live on, face on Facebook. Uh, it's obviously hard for me to walk and chew gum at the same time. So I'm sorry I was not more interactive with you. Well, all right, guys, we will catch you. Uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys inside the group. Bye-bye. See ya.